Man, that was a fun game. Never been here to West Virginia. First time for me, and I think a lot of the guys. Um, super fun. Like, West Virginia been playing really, really well at home. They beat, obviously, you know, Kansas and uh, who else did we talk about? Texas. Texas, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. So we, we knew we had a job coming in here that um, we had to take care of our business. But, man, super fun to uh, come on the road and get a win. Right, we'll have a question. Let's start with you. I mean, just as a team, you guys just seem to hit all the big shots, yeah. threes or whatever, when you needed them. Just, I, I know that's sort of the mode for you guys, but yeah. feel that you guys got hot when you had to tonight? Yeah, it was awesome, man. It was, uh, you know, just a, a testament to um, our resiliency and our maturity as a team that, man, we, we hit the shots that we needed to hit and we got the stops we needed. And, um, yeah, super fun. Can you talk about your mindset and that obviously, you know, you're going into the game and you're going to be outsized. I imagine you've been in that position before, but yet you still had this fantastic game against, you know, Jesse, who's a pretty big guy, and and you're outsized. Can you just talk about what you were able to accomplish? No, it's just just cool, special. I'm just super grateful for my teammate, you know. We have one who made my life super easy, you know, by finding me, you know, Making me easy pass, you know, and I'm just excited, you know, to go to work. Yeah, it's just fun to play with my my boys, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me what's going through you guys' mind when you're taking the ball in with two seconds left on the shot clock, and have you run that play before? <laughs> yeah, just how we drew it up, that little bank. That's uh, we practice that all the time. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we all know Ruchi gonna make it, you know. Well, it wasn't for only Ruchi, you know. Whoever is open, but. The play yeah. is actually to Foose. Like, just <laughs> no. give Foose the ball and uh, get out of the way. Uh, no, it's, it's good. That was one of those big shots, though. They're st- yeah. they're trying to make a run, mm-hmm. and you know you guys just close it with with that sort of just opportune time. Yeah, just uh, you know, opportune shot, great shot, and uh, really just gave us a great momentum boost there that we needed. Foose out. What impressed me was you had six offensive rebounds. I mean, how hungry do you get when that ball goes up and you're Waiting for it. Well, that's one of the, like, our number one thing, especially wedging, you know. So we always talk about that, you know. So I just say, yeah, why not try, you know, why not go every single time to help my team, you know. So it was fun. Coach, we talk a little bit about the philosophy of the three-point shooting. I mean, uh, many times tonight, it looked like guys had a clear path to the basket, and they kicked it back out and, and shot them in. Yeah, um, it's been something that we've been working on all season, all summer. Uh, really, it's been a little bit of staple of BYU basketball for a long time. We just have got a little bit, um, we've t- taken it to the nth degree right now. But uh, we think it's something that's really important for us to, um, you know, philosophically, it's really important that we try and stretch teams to guard 27 by 50 feet. Most teams make you guard 21 by 50 or 18 by 50, and we're trying to get it to 27 by 50. You know, it's an extra 250 feet that you have to guard. And with the personnel we have and the way we play in our skill set, um, we, we, we need to work hard to, to continue uh, to try and make teams guard in space. And... Um, and it's uh, so it's 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 fun for our guys. There's a certain amount of um, peace that it brings to our guys when you know you're getting up 11, right? Spence got up 11 tonight. We had a couple guys get up nine and six, but um, but it's uh, it's really important what we do. Um, it helps buy Foose a little bit of space, and Foose helps buy guys on the perimeter a little space. And Ollie's such an unbelievable player at it, it, it earning guys space um, by punishing cutters and and uh, you know, Atiki's such a dangerous guy aerially. So the pieces kind of fit together. But that that idea of us going in the Big 12, the, the best basketball league in America by a mile, we just uh, we were very humble about the challenge that this is. And, and we knew that we we're going to have to do some, some things a little bit hyperbolic to be successful. You guys have done a great job embracing it. You talk about, uh, you talk about uh, putting the pieces together. I think if I got this right, you had 39 points on threes and 38 in the paint. Yeah. I mean, is that that's a yeah. perfect night for you, I presume? Yeah, we're really happy about that. You know, the one place where we were sh- really struggling is at the free throw line, but, you know, we don't. Um, the, the the cost for us, the cost of, of um, you know, we're at, we're an elite level two point shooting team because we, we we really try and turn down difficult twos with the exception of Foos who made a bunch of really difficult twos tonight. 
we turn them down for shots that we're, we're more believing in. And so that results in us being a really high percentage two-point shooting team and, and having a chance to get up more threes. But it does hurt us getting to the free throw line. Two more questions. Coach, you obviously had to make a change at center going into the game, bring Foose in mm-hmm. when he normally comes off the bench. Um, so can you kind of talk about you know going into this game, okay, well, what we get from the five might be a little different tonight. Yeah. And then obviously you end up probably getting more than what you expect. Can you just kind yeah. of talk about how that dynamic kind of changed throughout the game? Yeah, well, Foose has been a mainstay at BYU. I mean, he's a, kind of a, he's kind of the like face of BYU basketball for for the last three years, along with Spencer Johnson. Those two faces are beautiful faces, really <laughs> incredibly handsome faces. Uh, and so, you know, this is a place where we're very comfortable playing. But it, it you know, we we do, we, you know, when we have these. When, when, when our front line is healthy, it's really fun because we get to throw very different looks and dynamics on the floor. And Foose knew coming into this game that he was going to have to carry a massive load against one of the elite centers in, in, in this league. I mean, Jesse, what, what he did against Cincinnati, we played Cincinnati. They're huge. And their front line was really tough for us. And Jesse rolled out of there with 25 and 10. So Foose loves stepping up to the challenge, and he was terrific tonight. And, yes, it was. we had to approach the game a little bit different. Do you, do you guys think um, with West Virginia's record that it might be a little deceiving? Their record's a little deceiving to what they produce on the court, especially considering, like you said, Big 12's best conference. You know, we talked about it uh, the whole two weeks. You know, Josh, what Josh has done has been incredible. Um, I know it's not the uh, traditional record that West Virginia feels like they have, but you think about all the turmoil, I'm sure that you guys reported extensively, and and all the change, and then um, and then not having healthy bodies, not having his guys on the floor. I I don't know exactly the number, but I think uh, Kerr, Chris, and and Jesse have maybe played just a couple games together, right? And um, and for them to 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 go through all that and then roll in here and beat Kansas, which is a absolutely, you know, Kansas speaks for itself, and to beat Cincinnati, which we know firsthand is a great team, and beat Texas, which we know firsthand is a great team, and to do it home is pretty special. And they're certainly headed in the right direction. They're, they're a terrific, terrific basketball team. And if I could add, like, it, it is a super special treat for us to walk into this gym, right? Um, you know, the, the home of the logo and Rod Thorne and Hot Rod Hunley and, and this incredible fan base, like, it, it's super special for us to come in here. So, uh, you know, Josh doing a great job. This is a great team, and, and we feel really blessed to have the opportunity to come play here and be a part of this league. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks.